hello everyone welcome back to my channel ac bay designs on this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful mermaid skirt please if you are new here don't forget to hit the like button and then comment in the comment section please let's get started Okay, so the materials we'll be needing for our tutorials are my ruler, pins, tailor shock, scissors, horse hair, tape measure, and then my lycra fabric. The materials I'll be needing for my skirts are waist 25 and then hip 37.5. But because the material stretches, I'll be using waist 24. So waist 24 divided by 4 will give me 6 inches. So 6 plus 2 inches as my same allowance. That is 8 inches at the waist. I'll then come down 10 inches to the hip. So from the waist to the hip, 10 inches downwards. Okay, so because it's stretchy, I'll be using hip 36 inches. So hip 36 inches divided by 4 will give me 9 inches plus 2 inches allowance that will be 11 inches so i will mark my 11 inches at the hip area okay afterwards i will mark my knee measurement that's from the waist to the knee is 18 inches the person is not really tall so 8 inches is okay okay so i'll be using 34 inches for around knee okay so 34 divided by 4 will give me 8.5 plus 2 inches as my same allowance making 10.5 okay so i'll then mark my knee and then connect the point that is i'll connect my waist to my hip point and then my hip point to my knee point okay okay so the length of my of the slate is 40 inches the length of the slate is 40 inches it's actually 56 inches for the full length but shoulder to waist is 16 so 56 minus 16 will give me 40 inches so i came down 40 inches and then i added 7 inches as my flow allowance okay so the 7 inches is what i really wanted it to flow at the front area okay so that will be 47 i'll then mark the 47 at the other end or at the other side and then connect the point okay so i'll connect the point from the knee to the side of the hem or the to the side of the skirt hem like so okay so this is all i'll be having for the front please the extension that is from the center front away to the side of the skirt depends on how wide you want it so mine i i extended mine like 18 inches okay so i'll be cutting out and then fold the rest of the fabric and then cut out my back great so this is what i'll be having after cutting out the front i'll then pin to secure the front in order to cut my back as well okay so i then folded the rest of the fabric to cut my back 
I then left an extension of about 12 inches at the back before cutting out. Okay, it depends on how wide you want it. You can leave for about 15 to 18 inches at the back before you cut it. Okay, so I then indicated my uh, my waist to knee measurement. That is the 18 inches. Okay. Okay, so afterwards, I will then mark the full length. That is the 47 inches. Okay, so after marking the 47 inches, the next thing to do is to go ahead and then indicate my back, how I want it to flow at the back. I will then draw my curve at the side of the front, connecting it to the back. Sorry, my camera couldn't capture. I will place it well for you to see what I'm talking about. Afterwards, I will connect the back knee point to where I, I ended my cave. Okay. I then left one inch allowance at the back as well. The one inch allowance I left at the back will serve as my zip extension. Okay, so as you can see, I'm marking the one inch zip allowance. Okay, so this is all I'll be having for the back. Okay, so let me place my camera well so that you would know what I'm talking about. okay so i'll be cutting out along the lines i marked cut it to the back and then to the knee to the hip and then to the waist area okay okay so this is the correct view of what i was trying to do the curve i drew from the front Connecting it to the side. Sorry, connecting it to the center back. So the curve was drew from the side of the skirt and then connecting to the center back. Okay. I'll then cut out and then indicate my zip allowance by pinning afterwards. I will shape according to the person's measurements. Okay, so after cutting out, I will then remove the pin I secured in the front. I will then use the same pins to indicate my zip line to enable me open so I can shape according to the measurements. Okay, so the waist measurement is 25. The hip is 37.5. The knee is 34 inches. But the waist 25 inches because it's a stretchy fabric. I would advise you subtract like 1 inch or 1.5 or if possible 2 inches. So that by the end of the time by, by the end you'll be done shaping. It, it's going to fit perfectly without creating any folds or any poking okay so the waist 25 i made it waist 23 and then hip 37.5 i made it hip 36 and the knee 34 i made it 33 or you can maintain the 34 for the knee so that you get enough space through your legs yes so as you can see i will then stitch one inch at the side and then stitch one inch at the other side as well by making sure the side and side 
of the front and then the back meets or matches okay so this is what i'll be having after shaping according to the measurements okay i will then sew the back as well i will then sew the back to join it one inch upwards but i'll be leaving about 12 inches from the waist downwards or the waist to the hip area 12 inches to serve as mine zip allowance okay great so this is what i'll be having after joining the seam lines i joined the side and side and then i joined the back as well so this is what i'll be having the next thing to do is to go ahead and then finish the hem area with my horse hair okay so what i'll be doing is i'll be placing the horse hair onto the right side of my skirt and then so have an inch downwards or have an inch all round after sewing have an inch all round i will then turn it to the wrong side and then stitch on the horse hair attached to the fabric like so okay okay so this is what i'll be having after sewing the horse hair or knitting the hem of the skirt with the horse hair afterwards my skirt is almost ready please at this point if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so press the notification bell to notify you anytime i upload any video okay so after finishing and then it came out so nice as you can see okay see you all in our next video